Hello and welcome to 21st Century Music. Today we are going to show you how to record a soft synth, record the audio from a soft synth using Sonar 6 LE. Why would you want to do this instead of using the X1 producer? Well, um, if you're using a laptop with your keyboard rig, as many people do, the laptop may be uh, a little challenged in terms of processor speed and memory and hard disk speed. So the Sonar 6 LE will give you the basic functions you need without requiring quite as powerful a hardware to function. So we have Sonar 6 on our laptop and as you'll see the arrangements are a little different. Okay, so first we're going to open a new project. No difference here. We go File, New, and we select Normal. We have to give it a name, so we'll call it Video 1, just like we did in the last tutorial. Okay, so when we open Video 1, we have an audio, a single audio, and a MIDI file with a master stereo bus. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Well, the next step is to insert your soft synth. So we go insert soft synth. Oops, there we go. And we select Dimension Pro. Now we are going to the property uh, the property page looks a little different. We still have synth property page, synth rack view ticked, and ask every time, recall assignable controls. So the only one that's different from the uh, producer is that you, have, you would have here all synth audio outputs stereo. Now the reason why you've done that is because the synth track, as it appears in the Sonar 6 LE, does not accommodate a MIDI input on the same synth track. So what you're going to have to do now is you're going to have to have use your MIDI file and use that as an input to your soft synth and then use another audio uh, track as your output for your audio for recording. So let's see how that's done. Well, here we go now, and we load our piano. We're doing the, essentially the same thing as we did with the... So we're going to get a nice grand piano here. This is our favorite one. So we load our piano, and we close those just as we did in the, the other one. This is Sonar 6 LE, for those of you that just joined us. And we need now to... We need now to get some MIDI input to that. So we are going to here, we click on our MIDI track and we are going to import our same little MIDI rift that we had in the other one. So there we go. We have now some MIDI data on our MIDI track and we now need to set the output of that so that it goes into your Dimension Pro. So we make the output of our MIDI track our Dimension Pro synthesizer track. So now we just click on play down here to hear it sound. Alright, so we got that working. So the next thing we need to do now is to export it to um, we need to export it so we have to do edit select none where is that select we got an unfortunate selection there okay edit select none so we do now uh, edit bunks to tracks and we set the destination as the audio track which we're seeing there 
we have the Dimension Pro, we have the source category set to tracks, that's the only other thing. Uh, stereo format, we see that the output is that, all the mix options are ticked. So we say OK. So it mixes it down now and there we have our audio for that. So remembering now to mute the MIDI. Now, if we, now notice that because the MIDI is now on a separate track to the synth track, when we click mute, we get a mute in both the synth track and the MIDI track. You can't do anything about that. It's the way this sonar works. So we have that muted. So when we click on play now, the audio plays. Okay, so that's my little musical rift, all uh, played through the Dimension Pro and converted to an audio track within the Sonar 6 LE. And all done on a piece of hardware that by all uh, stretch of the imagination has nowhere near a quarter of the power of the one that we did in the last episode with Producer. So now you see that this is a, this uh, laptop idea functions as a good little workstation. Basically, you don't need to go and buy an expensive uh, workstation synthesizer costing six and eight thousand dollars in our money at least, uh, three thousand US. You can just get a laptop with some sonar and maybe a MIDI controller, and away you go. You got performance capabilities right there. May I recommend the Roland A800? as your superior MIDI interface for use with Sonar. Well, thank you folks for joining us on 21st Century Music and we'll see you soon again.